All right. Let's see here. Lots of uh, indicators on the map. Take a look at the machine examination. Yeah, I think I can do that. Known. More father servo. Plenty to do. All right. Well, I guess let's get cracking on some of these. But after last time, I did do a little bit of uh, material farming, or whatever good that do me. So I know I can do this uh, machine examination part two. Uh, all right, stand up. Got to take out. He speaks. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Hey, uh, you kind of got your ass kicked, and that's why you're stuck there, so why don't you just tell us everything you know okay here you go all right well uh let's see if we what we can get out of this well uh i guess it would be under Archives, angles, memories. Uh, we already saw this as abduction. Uh, oh. Well, that's funny. In kind of a dark, grim way. First deployment killed 11,345 individuals with a 234 combo. That's not only worth 9,000 points. Is that the end of the quest? I want to make sure. Okay. Uh, let's just check out the... Uh, check out the abandoned factory for... Oh. Well, it asked. We will check in on him later, I suppose. What um, a strange machine. 
Thanks for the insight, 9S. But I want to check out this uh, data freak stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to, though. I'm just worried that uh, there's going to be like some cutoff for the quest that will come up soon. Can't really like base that on anything. Just a hunch. Gut feeling. Almost eerie how silent it is here this in the factory. This whole factor. place is like a giant machine's nest. I wonder what it used to be like. Accessing historical records. Analysis. This location was once used for weapons production and experimentation. No kidding? What kind of weapons? Humanoid combat robots. Common examples include the P-22 and P-33 models. Human-shaped weapons, huh? Wonder if they work like flight units. Unknown. No image-based information exists. Amazing that he hears. Uh... I think I can access the data over there. I just wasn't actually paying uh, enough attention to what the pod was saying, but I heard humanoid shaped weapons and I immediately thought uh, of the androids. Here we go. There we go. That's what 210 wanted. Now I just have to send it to her. Alert. Poor reception in this area is preventing data upload. Proposal. Unit 9S should move to an area with better reception. Got it. I think it just means going outside. Well, alright. Guess it really means leave. Which is fine, I can totally do that. Tell you, if I had a nickel for every time that happened. This should be good enough. Pod, upload that data to Operator 210. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S. Come in. This is 9S. 
I received the data you sent. It's fascinating. It appears to be the journal of a human who once worked in the factory. What, like a diary? Yes. According to this, the man worked long hours on an almost daily basis. He says, and I quote, they are working me like a machine. Working like a machine to build a machine? Humans truly were strange creatures. Sounds like it. I'll send you a reward later. Wait, I can get rewarded for doing this? I didn't say you would not get a reward. No, but... Well, all right then. Hey, don't disconnect me. Report. Mail notification received from access point. All right, let's uh, pick up the mail. Since it's right there. All right, some stuff. In a very uh, direct and to the point note. Uh, but then keep going. Uh, you know what? Let's pay Father Servo a visit. Oof, creamy. I guess there is a lot more going on. Alright, you know what? If you're gonna bother me this much... I just delete some of the enemies in the field, then maybe the frame rate will get better. Father Servo, I want that black belt. You are going to give it to me. Team Alloy, you always need those. Hey, Father Servo, how's it going? All right. Let him despawn and reload. Fair enough. Oh, what do you know? Back at it again. Ah, he's gotten bigger. Good. Now to just... Here we go. It's an easy.
All right, let's taste the forbidden foods. Same as the first. See? Fifty percent of the time I clear that one hundred percent of the time. Let's go. Half his health. On some level it almost feels like cheating to uh God, really? I was going to say that it almost feels like cheating to, uh, to, uh, to fight Father Servo this way. Alright, count it. Sure, I'm sure I could get the rest later. Three updates, one. All right. Back. Good. And he's looking considerably smaller. Well, he has uh, achieved oneness with the universe or something. All right, let's uh, face the full might. He even does a little bow. Oh, that's so good. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, now I can say what I wanted to say earlier, which is it almost feels like cheating to just do hacking to beat up Father Servo instead of uh, engaging in combat. But um, what's really happening here is I'm just uh, engaging in an alternative uh, gameplay mechanic. We'll say it's out of respect for your time and mine. Mostly mine. Oh, okay. That punch did hit pretty hard. I don't want to fight level 60 Father Servo uh, at my current equipment level. Alright, those are pretty good items. Goddamn time. <laughs> if I ever see that bossy robo monk again, it'll be too soon, let me tell you. I suppose. Stupid machine. 
All he cared about was getting stronger until we finally scrapped him. But now we don't have to see him ever again. What a relief. Indeed. Well, why don't you tell us how you really feel, Mine S? Um, okay. There was... Okay, yeah, it's at the top of this tower. All right. Didn't. I think something's wrong with it. Oh. I exist. This world. My life's the me. The me. A being born. Okay. Incredibly easy hacking. New game. Trying to trying to talk to my friend here. I'm sure it's fine. Very weird horse thing. Get out of here. I need to go to the forest and finally get a move on. Pascal, my dude, tell me about the strange machines that you know about. Um. Oh, it's nine S and two B. Oh, I guess tell me about. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you? The village, whatever. We need to talk. Of course, I'll help however I can. Pacifism. other machines that are cut off from the network? Hmm. I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Oh, yes. of course. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. And this forest. 
Cursed Kingdom sounds like something we should check out. in the village. Alright, here's the quest time. Uh, oh! Alright. Sure, let's help him. Alright, I guess that's uh, an excuse to dig up those old world archives. This is the allure of quests. Careful, no rush. Does my aim slowly? Aim is not getting adjusted the right way. Closer than I would have liked, but job is done. Just a little, a little hush money. Oh, just some high-level materials. Yes, that explains the uh, title of the quest. I wish I could zoom in on this guy. Looks like uh, I'm not that sure face. I even know what it means to be smart anymore. Reply unknown. Terms are too vague to formulate a reasoned response. <laughs> Don't I know it? And looks like our friend the shut in is uh, back to his other tricks. All right, let's help him out. Wants 
this here. Get through here. It is more complicated than before. Trillion, quintillion years. All right, more really good stuff. This is a reminder. The uh, 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 machine parts are all required for uh, level four weapon upgrades. So, you know, I want those. Soon, I'll be able to, uh, to get them. Today. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... Aw, oh, buddy, I'm sure I said this before, but you can't force it. Let's see if that wise machine is back. Shouldn't be. Well, I shouldn't say it shouldn't be. Cut down. Not good enough. This guy really tried to stab me. He did. All right. This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. Well, that's got to be like an ambient echo, right? So that wasn't just me. Because I don't have. Hello. I was say, I don't have my TV speakers on right now. Oh, look. No getting the through here. Down. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage? I'll engage your mechanism. If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the forest king. All hail the forest king. Who the heck is the forest king? You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. I can be good at hacking sometimes. Check this guy. He's just running away. It's going. 
going to explode. I did kind of set it on fire. That's indisputable. Oh, hey there. Huh? Hey, where am I? Um, what's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? This thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No. Good idea. No! Okay, what was that? That's fine. Since I did that quest for Emil before, uh, I believe. Well, I mean, I still have the key to the elevator. There's something else here I could check out that I couldn't before. We'll see how much it's really worth. But there is a locked chest in here. That balloon. Fitting for flower stuff, I guess. Here it is. Excuse me. Project Gestalt. Hmm. that was the only thing here, but... We'll see. Obviously, it's... Graphic. <laughs> We're speeding. Oh my god. Yosuke Saito. He's... Uh, what's the president of... Square Enix, I think I, sh I should really look that up real quick. Uh, do sir. At Square Enix. Producer of the game, of course. Going 30 to 35 kilometers over the speed limit. All right. Assault Report 10. What do we have here? Um, replicants behaving as if they've developed senses of self. Who knows what this might mean for Project Gestalt as a whole? Ah, of course. They're not going to tell us everything because they already told us everything. As of that report. A little bit of a per my last email. I suppose it's fairly obvious that that's uh, connected to uh, near the first. But as I've said several times already, uh, I've never actually played it. I do want to like get the on that someday. Just ahead. But uh, I have a vague, very vague idea of what that could mean. Aim for the enemy androids. Engage battle mode. Now Alrighty. fight for your king. Here they come. Better keep your guard up. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of how to...
You just be careful. I will to be. Oh. Okay. Two hundred and fifty six years ago, all right. This forest we are stationed in. It is hot, humid, unhygienic, a punishing hell for machine life forms. None should have to live in such a place. for them. I didn't anticipate getting uh, Kingdom backstory uh, before I even got close These to These machines. Castle. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. All right, um... I do want to, like... Try to come through the area to make sure I haven't, uh... Or I don't miss any... Uh, box chests. So I suppose I'll be taking a slightly roundabout path, uh... Through the forest. I don't say. battery I used up some of those lately. Uh, let's see, I feel like if I follow the river here, it's going to lead me to some kind of box treasure chest. Okay, this is where the lunar tier was. There it is. A lot of chests. Or how are we supposed to reach that castle? Guess I'm going uh, exploring down here. a lock chest. Surprise. Ooh, power part power up M.
Alright, we're definitely off the beaten path, but I feel like there is... I guess there's a quest, for starters. the valley, huh? What the hell does that mean? Alright, rampaging machines. Machines like... attacking indiscriminately. Proposal. Huh? Unit 2B should eliminate the hostile machines. Alright, I guess we're taking a bit of a detour. Further detour. I vaguely remember this quest. I think they're tough, but... every time. Very hard to see any chests there. I think that is an elevator shortcut back to the top of the canyon. I turned around completely. I want to be Lord of the Canyon. I want to at least meet the Lord of the Canyon. A lot of enemy markers. Look at all the corpses. Is this some kind of graveyard? Yes, after. New weapon. You like weapons. And a flyer for a weapon shop. All right. Watch out. They're still alive. I'm on it. Definitely a weird vibe without any music. Maybe I should say this. What's it saying? Don't listen to it, to be Absolutely listen to it. fire off. Alright, yeah, we're sticking with that. I maybe shouldn't have done this while seriously injured in case I fail. But, uh, 
a little too late for regrets. Dang. Regular combat isn't working. What was with that thing? It was talking. Maybe that machine who sent us here knows something about this. We should try asking her. All right, I'm gonna get back there and I'm gonna find out that uh, the machine told us about the Rampagers is the new Lord of the Canyon. Okay, suicidal machine. A whole bunch of clean nuts. Okay. The shop? Ooh, alright. like an excuse to uh, uh, more chips use what I have doesn't seem like I've picked up a whole lot of good stuff Take the elevator back up. It's souls in heaven, huh? Do either of those things exist? They'll find out in the end. All and right, so 2B. Okay, that's grim. <laughs> He's not wrong. That was funny. Here, but did I overshoot it? You must have. Uh, sometimes these two have great moments together. Oh, I was looking on the wrong side. Is it any wonder people love these two? Oh, 
Oh, we're not even in the forest anymore. Alright. Sorry, nothing behind the waterfall. I had to check. I almost kind of wish I'd gone back the, the other way. It's fine. I'll be fine. I feel like I can just go straight into the castle now. As I remember which way is the best way to get in there. Listen to what they're saying to be. Get in there. Think. Ready aim interest. Get in formation now. Take position. Keep going. I should try. Better than you. Even I hope. Ready and interest. Get in formation now. Take position. Keep going. Don't be afraid. You see every time. some good materials from this group, that's for sure. Titanium alloy and, uh, pristine cables. They're high-end materials. Definitely like to see those. All right, around here, I'm 99% sure is another locked chest. Ten thousand G. This way? Copper ore again. All right. Okay. Uh oh. Right. This is Another Coliseum. Well, I guess if we made it this far, we might as well... Might as well pop in. Well, I'm pretty sure it was off camera, but I did take a visit uh, to the Colosseum in the desert. Um, that one, there are certain rules. Like, you can't use items. Or What's this? 
Can't use your pod. Hey, shop friend, what do you got? Ah, this is actually good. I've got... Who knows how many I'll need. I'm sure I could look it up, but I don't care to. But Low-grade materials. Sometimes they're a bit of a pain when you know exactly what you want. And enemies won't drop them. I'm sure having at least ten each on hand will help. But... Oh... Okay, we'll do one of these. Well, one try. Yeah, we'll start with rank one. I think I'm gonna take this guy. Excellent. Shall we begin then? It's time to battle for your future now. The one Coliseum is a straight fight. One of them imposes limitations. And this one. This one you fight as the machines. Take that. gonna start swinging my arms like this and walking forward and if you get hit by that that's your own fault all right anyway so uh, as you go through the ranks uh, you get access to you know Very nice. Um, you get like DLC only costumes for doing for going far in the arenas. I don't know if it's like you have to clear them entirely to get the other costumes. For clearing the first one here though. Just because this one is harder because you're playing as machines who are uh, by design, a lot clunkier than the androids. I guess they were nice enough to give you the important reward first. Well, that was a nice diversion. Perhaps another time I will challenge the other arenas. Wandering towards the, uh, the main objective marker.
pressure. It turns left at Albuquerque. So those machines had a king? But how can a concept like loyalty be understood by a machine? Getting a little too philosophical there, I guess. Or at least a little too abstract. go. What's this one going to be? 128 years? Should be, unless I missed one. Okay, I didn't. His Majesty is dead. The king who gave all for us. So benevolent and kind. And now he's dead. Ah, yes, that's how it works. He deserves a royal upbringing. Sure. He deserves protection. Okay. I know we know how that ends, but we'll... We'll see. Sure it'll work out. Okay, now, I know there was a chest around here. I'm pretty sure I got it. Was there a locked one, too? Actually, care enough to try. I'll never let you pass. Die and twice. Okay. I'm glad that was easy. Okay, that totally looks like it leads to something, right? Not just me. Okay, I saw something else there, and I'll just pick it up on the way back. Oh, 
Alright, good enough. I thought there was something there, but I was taken again. I so was just seeing things. I'm not worried, but it has been a little bit, so I guess I should quick save. Yep, this looks like a king's castle, all right. Got to do a perimeter check. Maybe I missed some treasure. Would you look at that? Rotten info sheet. All right, well, it's old world data. Means I can convert it to cash at some point. Because that's the kind of attitude I'm using to pack him. Good stuff, I'll take it. Hostile enemies to be. Roger that, nine. Is a... Huh? Wait, what did you. What oh, happened? Roger that, nine S. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said nines. Or at least something close to. Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. Ah, oh, poor guy. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Doesn't look like um part that's useless because I technically don't have the quest. Oh, 
then again, I am a bit of a level to play this area, I suppose. Titanium, thank you. Cool, what if I just ignore you? Up. Oh, there we go, this one's gotta be 64 years ago. Guess they forgot that machines can't grow. Honest mistake to be sure. further. That ought to do it. 
first blacksmith, Masamune. Can't buy anything, but we can do some upgrading. Woohoo! Uh, a lot of upgrading, in fact. More than I anticipated. All right, well, uh, we'll do Demon's Cry. His Devil's Hatred is a pretty solid ability. Uh, ah, yes, I wanted to do the Cypress Stick, the Hero Sigil, just for fun. Uh, virtuous grief here. You can also upgrade that for blessing. Type 40 fists. Yeah, I've got plenty of those materials. I feel like I should get, you know, like, one of everything. So, we'll do... Type 40 Lance, because I do like the Type 40 line of, uh, weapon. Uh... Beast Lord, sure. Beast Roars. Wow, don't even have the pearls for the Phoenix Dagger. Okay. And, uh, sure, Virtuous Contract. I guess while I'm here, I'll upgrade a bunch of these. Eight weapons. It is a uh, set of combat bracers, the opposite of the virtuous grief. You only unlock it uh, or receive it after upgrading anything to level four. I guess now's as good a time as I need to uh, go over what some of these level 4 weapons mean. The Holy Blessing, for example, is on all of the uh, virtuous uh, weapons. When your health is full, you get uh, an attack boost. Beast Roar, uh, that's not really descriptive, but it widens your attack area, so that's cool. Energy Charge on the Type 40 weapons. Uh, basically, uh, it increases the attack power if you don't swing them for a while. Uh, Demon's Cry, let's check that out. Adds a shockwave when finishing off enemies. Uh, I may have alluded to this before. Uh, in fact, I'm 100% sure I have. Uh, the effect doesn't trigger if you uh, 
kill an enemy with a shockwave attack, like from the plug-in chip, which is why I don't have it on uh, 9S anymore. Here's a fun one. Uh, the Cypress Stick. Alright, so here's what I'll do. Put that on. And although the uh, energy charge is folly that I want, please try. I can get to that treasure chest. Right away, you can see how uh, you can see how the treasure chests have changed their appearance. Now the dragon quest treasure chest, and. Stick. And now all the damage numbers are uh, also dragon plus. Just a, a cutesy little chain, but I like it. Got two memory alloys. Hey, Tyrion. Oh, lots of pal. Analysis. This Doesn't look like I'll need this. You gotta have your uh, cross-brand promotion, I guess. In the form of... <laughs> hidden weapons that take... Uh, It'd take a good while to get any kind of payoff. Well, I guess the thing about the criticals is that they are incredibly powerful. From the looks of it. When I saw how I was getting, like, 2600 damage on a crit, Gotta be that, uh, what you call it? Hatchet Man? Let's have fun with it. Yeah, there's that. There's that shockwave for finishing off an enemy. That's the real pal. That's the real reason I love the, uh, the Demon's Cry. Again, not worried, but just just in case, I should get that quick save in there. Let's 
so good. Core out of it and everything. Already forgot. Did the uh, heavy combo get an upgrade? Already maxed that out. I guess I'll use the stick. If the bonus effect is only on killing enemies, it's not going to come in super handy for the boss. Is this their king? <laughs> oh, and we just saw how the king had been stuck in that little baby body for 128 years. To be, that's an android, a Yorha type android. Alert, this unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? <laughs> I'll just wait for her to Bunker make the first to 2B move. and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in front of you is your enemy. <laughs> but she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before well, she kills you. Skip most cutscenes. You couldn't. You can't really skip this. I don't think, except by starting the fight. But uh, I like to add a little extra tension to the atmosphere by not doing that. Step to me, A2. Oh, near was worse than this about it. I guess I'm not too surprised. And, uh, where is she? Why? Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Still cryptic. Let's go after her, 2B. Alrighty. Oops, I forgot Data. my parachute. She got away. Operator, this is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, Commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the Force? <sighs> I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. 2B? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. There, that sounds good. Oh, whether but first. wind or rain, thunder or snow, or even amidst the rising flames of war, they were always together. They never understood why. They spent their lives nestled together. Forever. Forever and ever.
Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. Not sure why it has to be in person, now that I think about it. Other than uh, it's a video game and they need some kind of conceit for me to go back to uh, Pascal's village. Which is fine. That must be the gate Pascal opened for us. faster if you just take a look at this recording. All right, let's transfer the data. I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. All right, sounds good. Oh look, I can just warp right there. That's in fact what uh, the A and A2 stands for. A baby murderer. 9S, why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable in its own way. <laughs> Thanks, 2B. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Oh, all right. Oh, not there. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. Really? I'm happy to hear it. I couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Flattery is unnecessary. Operator wow, 210 out. I really meant it, though. Double wow. All right. What's my new email? Oh. That one. More junk. Uh, oh, I wanted to investigate uh, powering up a pod. Still can't do it. Uh, the materials are kind of rude. The material requirements. Let's 
see, natural rubber. I know I'll be able to buy that soon, so I'm not worried about that. Color uh, medals and vibrant gadgets. I think I've only gotten those through quests. Born books. Born books are mostly in the desert. Maybe you can buy them eventually. Still, that part's kind of a pain. Oh, to be. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific Ocean. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The Resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Seriously? Dead serious. There's a stockpile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. All right, well. Hmm. All right, I do want to go talk to Engels, I think. Might have a, a little difficulty talking to him again in the future if I... Uh, advance the main story. Operator 210 to 9S. Come in, 9S. I'm here. I've sent you a new data retrieval request. Please read it. Over. Hey, wait just a... She didn't even give me a chance to turn her down this time. Well, okay. That sounds like another perfectly fine thing to check out. Angles, buddy, how are you? I'll talk because I'm in combat, of course. appreciate that they uh, went to the effort to make the stick sound like a stick and to slam it into the ground like that. Alright, come on, there's one here. One here. Oh, wow. Straight up telling poor angles here. We're holding him accountable for the sins of machines. He's already been blown up. How much more accountable can we hold him? Oh, well. Where's a meal? There he is. Hold still and let me shoot you, buddy. To force him to stop. Is, can't you guys see I'm trying to conduct a little business here? Get out of here. Yeah, that means you too, pal. which I don't really 
want to buy because when you buy chips, they're always, always, always uh, the highest uh, plug-in cost they can be. Oh, I've already been there. I'm saying go. Welcome. Yeah, this is helpful. Um, buy a bunch of that. I don't know if I actually need that many. I just feel better about my upgrade capabilities uh, if I have at least 10 of everything. Thanks, Brendo! You're welcome, pal. Um, right, I went on to go get that email in 210. And that's kind of a, a unique quirk uh, to running into a meal for the first time in a playthrough. Uh, is, you know, you talk to him, you get one list of uh, his inventory. And then you talk to him again immediately and his inventory switches to the other possibility. That's why I got those uh, materials. I could buy. But I believe that only happens the first time. Uh, yeah, any other time you have to uh, leave and get the area to reload so he respawns. And then it's kind of random. Uh, desert, okay. Oh, I wanted to go to the desert anyway, the housing complex. It's it's weird. It is region based normally. It it's both. So there's fast and slow song, and then there's uh, near the camp, and then near the desert slash factory. But when he's near the desert or factory, that's when he sells uh, uh, plug-in chips and uh, what's the other thing? Certain materials. Uh, when it's fast, that's when he sells the good stuff. When it's slow, that's when he sells the lower grade stuff. say is I had uh, a little confusion. Ah, small shoe. Uh, right, so the way I always understood it, or that I did understand it before starting this playthrough, is that um, you have the desert entrance, you have the abandoned factory entrance, and you have the resistance camp. There's three different locations where he can appear. Um, one is for uh, weapons, maybe not weapons. Well, the resistance camp is where you can get some weapons. Um, 
Then the other two, one is chips and one is materials. And I thought there was some consistency there, but uh, everything I read online said that Why the, did all these people live together way back then? Huh? The factory arrangements were due to and the desert zone entrance in metropolitan areas. are both the they same. Out of space? So I don't know. How strange. How is that possible? Like they're on the so same route, so there. they're the same shop, I guess. Hey, want to chest, but I, I missed my first time through here. I think there's, there might even be a thing about uh, where you get him to stop. Oh yeah, the confidential intel. Technically didn't finish it before. And I think, yeah, I think I found some posts online where people were, like, camped right out in front of the resistance camp. They would get him to spawn, and when they got him to stop, he would uh, not have uh, the inventory he was looking, uh, they were looking for. I think it was because when he goes so fast, his stopping distance is uh, so much longer. Uh... Hey, found a thing. Uh, that he ended up being in, like, another region. <laughs> yeah, that that's there. Got the androids. Uh, okay. okay, this should be enough. What do we have? Broken toys, dirty ledgers, small shoes. Pod, take a photo of this junk and send it to Operator 210. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S. Hello, Operator. How can I help you? I've received your data. Great. Does it seem useful? That depends on what I do with it. Oh, all right. It hey. is, however, fascinating. I was aware that humans used to live in groups, but I did not know they coexisted in such a wide variety of ways. I'm sure you're aware that most humans subsisted in small familial units. Uh, familial? A family is a group of people that share a connection by blood or social custom. Yeah? If androids had a similar system of families... <laughs> Operator? Are you there? I've said too much. I must return to my duties. Oh, and boy. she disconnected me. Oh, we know she's not the only one who wants a family. I have additional information to relate. I've sent mail with a reward. Please read it. And 9S, thank you. Man, she disconnected me again. Well, if she's thanking me, I guess it must have gone okay. Uh, right? Purpose of question unknown. All right, let's collect our reward. Oh, oh, so that's where I get the Type 40 blade. All right, uh, let's take a look at that then. I just realized I haven't actually used the uh, large swords or spears as a uh, 9S, like at all. I guess I could do that.
Yeah, there we go. That's the beast roar. It adds that kind of slashing effect to, uh, to widen area of impact. All right. What other quest do I have? That's pretty much it, unless I want to go to the Coliseum. I want to trigger the end of the the confidential intel quest thing, though. that quest for real there's there's nothing i have to really do except uh i guess let some time pass if i recall all i need to do really is wait for an email update about it Alert. Mail received from command. oh hey look at that mail update Your unit has been found. Um, been found dead, along with resistance member. There, there they go. All right, let's see if we can get Emil to do anything. this side quest over here that I think is also exclusive to 9S, so might as well do that. I don't want to get to the next uh, story beat because that's probably going to wrap things up. Before then, at the wise machine. It's, a, it's an invasion of privacy, 9S, I say, as I... Happily dive right in. Was it also picking up a uh, higher elevation? Oh, yeah, it was. But. What is it? What was this quest? Where did it go? I think it does, because I found the wise machine in another location, and it didn't really, like, disappear. I mean, he was, he was at a different location, but it didn't, like, kill the quest. Oh, yeah, there he is.
I'm bad. Why? Get out of here. Go away. Thank you. Oh, it's supposed to hack him anyway. believe that thing decided to end itself. There's a lot of that going around, it seems. Well. I think I want to take a crack at the parade. Now that I can hack, that should be a lot easier on me. Hopefully. Oh, don't hack the moose. We had a combat so I can talk to this guy. intentional or not? That's a very good question. I do generally agree with you there that the, uh, the machines are a lot more sympathetic than the androids. I'm inclined to believe that it's intentional. But I'm not sure if I fully explain my position on that. Um, the world is made of love and peace. Sure, let's help out and forth. Shockwave action, I think. Yeah, it doesn't hurt friendly units. Oh, 
also the fact that I'm just stronger this time around by virtue of being on a second playthrough, so that also makes it nice and easy. So far, I need to qualify that because that was just the first wave. Hey, I don't think I even had any casualty. I think I had to drop the chip because my stock is uh, full. Yeah. Uh, do I want to reset? Um, let's see. I don't, I don't know if I remember what reset does. I don't particularly useful. Um, it's menuing so hard. Have a reset? Yep. I think I do. Um the thing for destroying chips. Um, Alright. Destroy this big counter. Trying to remember if reset is the one where you have a chance of not dying when you die. Or it's under defense. Fifteen percent chance of reviving. Thirty percent health. Oh, thank you. I'm going to have a second chance. 
kind of thing like that. I want it to be a little more reliable than 15%. Um, remember to pause while I'm not dodging. Uh, Wes. Yeah, it's, this is obviously just my opinion, but reset is just not a good chip, not worth the investment. Yeah, auto heal, auto heal does wonders. That's why I still, that's why I've got it equipped. Deadly heal is good too. Great escort updated. Why is Parade Escort updated? Check in on the Parade, oh no. Another round. I was afraid of this. The first one went so easily, I might as well try the second one after having another chat. Our good buddy here. Really? There are more of you? Trucking along. All right. Question. Oh. That that used to exist. The cyclical cycle of light and dark that used to exist. So at some point in the last eight or nine thousand years, the Earth stopped rotating. Well, all right. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Something about the alien invasion just meant means that uh Earth stops spinning. I'm kind of stuck thinking about what it would take to make the Earth stop spinning. I can't actually think of anything, so I'm going to stop thinking about that. I'll just take the other way around to get to the parade. Maybe the rewards are good, I don't remember. Rip to angles. Oh, those are pretty decent tips, though. I mean, plus six is the highest level 
It just chose death. We're no different. Huh? How so? We've destroyed machines beyond counting. Perhaps someone sees that as a sin. To be. Let's clear out some space for those new chips. Let's see if these are like actually good chips or or not, I guess. Uh fifty percent is good. Eighteen cost is a little high. And what was the other one? Fast cooldown? Again, the eighteen cost is a little high. Twenty-five percent faster cooldown is pretty, pretty good too. Oh, right. Wanted to check uh, Angle's memories. Um, decided to write a journal. Make my record of this bird protected data so I do not lose it. All right. Well, thank you, Angles. Well, let's check out this weapon shop flyer. Uh, since it's from, since this is like old world data, I wonder if this is uh, one of those obvious uh, references to near the first. Maybe even older, I don't know. I see that's the Dragoon Lance. Is that a reference to Guard, maybe? I wouldn't know. Right, I have heard that, uh, the weapon, a lot of the weapons... We're in near. That's the, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know a single thing about Drake Guard except that it is uh, uh, somehow a prequel near. Or at least Drake Guard three is, but in you know in that uh, extremely disconnected, just kind of a shared world kind of way. Something about. The endings, the one of the endings, I don't know, whatever. Um, right, the parade. Where's that other quest marker that's right there on the mini map? But I'm not, I don't feel like checking that because I already know what it is. It's the like the speedster or something, maybe even speed star. He likes to race, and you know what? Good for him. I don't feel like racing him. Just gonna check on the parade, give it another try, and if it works out, great. And if not, then that's also fine. All right, buddy, what's up? You want to try again? Oh, no.
Oh no. Our happy friend has been overcome with nihilism. Yep, that's it. Um, all the other quests I have left are just uh, the Colosseums. I want to do those. So I guess I'll just approach the flooded city and uh, wrap up at the save station terminal. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I did have thought, something I'd heard about. Um, one of the weapon uh, that I have is called a uh, iron will. I know that's a recurring weapon. I was reading up on all the weapons to figure out, you know, what all the special, unique upgrades did. And I remember reading some trivia about iron will. Uh, I guess... Oh. I, I didn't even see that chest before. I didn't know I was in here. Weird. But, uh... Might as well take a look at it. Oh, right at the top, of course. I haven't really gone into it since, like, the first time, uh, the first stream, but all the weapons have stories. Um, oh, this isn't the one I was thinking of. Well, I think this is still a recurring weapon, but I know there is uh, one weapon. Uh, that's like a reference where the story is uh, refers to near the character um, the sto the the story for the weapon talks about the different owners that it had and the last one is supposed to be near himself but i guess it's been so long since i read about it that i forgot what that weapon even is oh well Do a quick save. Uh, you could be right. That sounds about right. I'm pretty sure, like, a, the, the beast weapons and Phoenix weapons are recurring. It might have come up, but uh, yeah, that is going to do it this time. Next time, I believe, is probably going to be the end of uh, Route B.